Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today I'm going to do a review of the German buildings from the Kickstarter from Things from the Basement. So let's get started. Ever since I first saw the products of things from the basement at a historic on several years, I've really been wanting to add some to my collection. And I have added a few little things. Some of my scattered terrain is from them, but I hadn't made any really large investment in any of their products. Uh, I was gonna do their Pantheel building, Spanish building Kickstarter, uh, but I, uh, the timing was bad financially and I already have a lot of buildings of that nature. Uh, but um, I think very highly of the line, everything I've ever seen them do. Um, they have uh, a Russian line, they have a uh, colonial based on prototypes in the Lexington and Concord area from the very beginning of the war. They do a couple of fantasy lines, they do a Frostgrave line, and they do a, uh, a Sleepy Hollow line. And they do a bunch of really nice industrial corporate buildings and things too. But I decided to invest in the German buildings. Uh, partly I've done this because most of my Napoleonic war gaming is built around the peninsula. Uh, and I find these will be useful not only for bringing that into Europe for uh, sharp practice or for uh, silver bayonet. Um, uh, I'm planning on using them right now for Transylvania for my Dracula 7 TV campaign. Uh, but enough talking about what I'm going to use them for. Let's go and take a look at some of the finished products. All right, so we're going to do a quick rundown of some of the buildings that I've built. I said to a moment ago that they were finished, but actually they're not. They're, none of them are uh, painted. And because of certain issues I'm having with the roof, I may end up uh, tiling the roofs. That always works well with the MDF to help give them a more three-dimensional look either. I may get some of the names of some of the pre-made kits wrong, so try not to. I'm going to start with this one here. This is barn. Uh, my roof is, needs some work. I was having a lot of trouble with it towards the end of the evening last night. They, the roofs come off of them. They have full interiors to them. Their doors all work. And they're made with a combination of MDF and cardstock uh, for the texture. They're really nice looking models. They, they have a good amount of detail without getting overly bulky like I feel like a lot of MDF does. And that's a f true of some of his other kits I've seen. The, I've been playing recently with the Lexington and Concord stuff that a friend of mine has, and um, I should also mention that set. Uh, he's from the area and says that it's very much like the original building. So that was the barn, the timbered barn we just saw. This is the uh, uh, timbered house, or I think it's half timbered is what they're calling it. Half, half timbered barn, half timbered house. Again, this one's it has got a door. The... Uh, it all comes off uh, with full, uh, full interiors are mostly complete. This one's even got a staircase inside it. Again, the door works. Um, very nice model. Uh, I think this is the small or the medium. I had to trim this. Uh, a little warning on, on things like this is put it all together before you glue that on. I had to trim it down. I'm having a few fit issues there too. The uh, Pretty well, you can hear that. I've got one of my windows fell inside after I glued the roof on. Um, you get interior here, doors work, partial wall. It's a really nice little mechanism there. I think it'll paint up very nicely. But here's a stable building. Again, door works, little window. Again, interior, good little carriage, carriage door. Probably not a stable, it's probably a carriage house uh, or a half barn. Here's the large farmhouse. With a mixture of surface types out front, again, multiple interior, doors and close uh, windows, various. I really like, this is actually the back of the house. I um, really like this particular model and all of its detail. Now these are the ones I've already built. I have the full Kickstarter. Uh, I'm a little behind on it because I got it for, uh, as a birthday present, so <laughs> it's been sitting around in months waiting for me to get. But the other parts of it include the half-timbered villa, really looking forward to this with the turret out front. Uh, again, a two and a half story building. And uh, the half-timbered house with integrated barn. We'll have a barn inside uh, the half of it. Again, it is a 
Looks like it's technically a one and a half. It looks like most of the top is just open. That can't be right. That's got to be two story. Um, and then there's a wall set, yard walls to expand and make it farmy. Uh, there's a few additional things. This is uh, two sheds and a little dog house for scatter terrain. Coolest features of it, in my in my point, uh, in my opinion, is this storage shed. It's kind of an open barn, uh, an area for different storage things, and hayloft up above it. Um, looking forward to putting that together. Uh, and then uh, trellis work fence for small gardens, some wheelbarrows and carts, a scatter terrain, and uh, yard gates that'll go with those walls. So a very nice collection all the way around, very interesting models. It'll, I think it's going to work not only beautifully for what it's made for, to be Bavaria or G Prussia or somewhere in Napoleonic Germany, uh, but I'm looking forward to use it for Transylvania as well, probably mix in some old and medieval buildings as well, just to get the rural Transylvania look down. So um, really pleased with these so far as my first venture into uh, your vendor's work uh, with um, things beyond the basement. I hope uh, I hope you've enjoyed these. So let me know if you've made any of these kits yourself, if have uh, any products from um, things from the basement. And um, if you've enjoyed the video, I hope that you'll uh, hit like if you'd like to receive further notifications for videos like this one that may help you determine how to better spend your money or time in your tabletop wargaming hobby, then please hit subscribe and ring our notification bell. Till next time, cheers.